we certainly have got a very robust uh, ship repair and conversion business um, that that is is a you know year over year staple cornerstone to our business, and then we've got our new construction sector of our business, and then we we've also worked in some of the military aspects of of the business. I guess what's most visible probably to the general public is is our repair business. As you see these vessels congregate all year long, but most intensely from the months of December up until April time. And uh, that's the time frame which has been termed winter fleet layup. For the most part, transit is much restricted and not only that, uh, there's a very restricted ability to get product off the dock. The locks close down and it's the time of year when these vessels flock to uh, a repair dock where they can get services um, from shipyards and others that, uh, that the vessel needs. So it's a very intense uh, 70 to 90 day maintenance period. You know, anywhere from 15 to 18 vessels of various sizes and needs make their way to Sturgeon Bay. Probably one of the, the biggest uh, misnomers that I, I need to correct oftentimes with the general public is people think that these boats um, are just parked here for the winter, and that's not the case at all. We get larger, larger projects uh, from changing out engines to putting in um, um, environmentally friendly exhaust scrubber systems. There's a number of, of uh, electronic automation upgrades that happens to equipment. Um, so uh, it, it becomes home for these 15 to 18 vessels every year and all of their crews and supporting cast that, that come with them. I would say on an average we probably employ somewhere between four to 600 people every year just concentrating on the winter fleet work. We've got three full shifts so we work around the clock and uh, most weekends we'll, we'll have 80 to 100 people working overtime, Some, sometimes a whole lot more than that, um, working overtime to try and hold the certain schedules certainly is, is a very um, huge sense of pride and a sense of purpose as to what it is that we do here to support the industry and what it is that the industry does to support this country.